Hey guys, what we're looking at today is my Real2 Everywhere automation in NA10 using Blowtato. So as you can see, we've got three parts. First is the Google Drive trigger that wakes up when I drop a reel into a folder. And then next we have a daily schedule that fans everything out at a set time. And then we have our knowledge and post lane where agents create platform specific captions and ship to TikTok, LinkedIn, YouTube, Shorts, and Instagram. I'll run a live demo to show off the whole thing. And then we'll break down each node and the data that we pass in between the steps and how we log everything to Airtable. But first, what is Blotato? Well, Blotato is an AI content create engine that helps us create content and post and send to up to 10 different platforms. Okay, so the first thing I could do is I can create a post to Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and TikTok, have it generate a post, and once they're complete, th these are the final products that it's going to post, and then it completed the post for all of them, ready to be published. They have a bunch of prompts you can use on your videos. You can schedule your post through here, and you can have it create AI-generated videos. US patent number 6469. Lincoln's innovative spirit. And for builders like us, Blotato exposes API endpoints and also has N8 and notes. By the way, I'm gonna give this full template inside of my community here. So grab the link for that below if you wanna access that and all my AI builds for free. Okay, so the first thing you do have to do is log into your social accounts. In order to do that, you just create an account with Blotato. You're gonna to go to the settings down here on top in the bottom left. Once you get there, then you'll see all nine or 10 platforms here. Then you can just go and click one, log in. As you see, I've already connected my YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Twitter. It's really just that easy. And with the nodes, you don't have to worry about the account IDs. All right, so let's go ahead and run the demo. So I have a short here called 11 Labs about a voice agent. So in the in my Google Drive, I have a Blotato content management, and I have two folders, a media not uploaded and a media uploaded. So once it's uploaded, it'll move it to that respective folder. So I'm gonna take this example. This is, I'm actually gonna post this now to, uh, as I'm recording this. So I'm gonna take this, put it in the media not uploaded. So it's gonna move that. And what I think you do have to do is you have to make sure, I think by default, it's if uh, the share, it's, it should be any one kind of link. Okay, good. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to Blotato. I'm going to go ahead and execute the Google Drive workflow. So it's gonna recognize that there is a new file there. It's going to upload the media to Blotato. And that's what it's doing right now. So we zoom in here. So it's gonna upload the media. It's going to create a success record in Airtable. Now it's gonna move that file Move the file, download, then it's gonna go ahead and download the file to be able to transcribe that video. Now, of course, that this is under 25 megabytes, which is why we can use the OpenAI node here. And then we're gonna update the same record with the actual transcript. And while it's doing that, this is what we updated right here is this last record. Yeah, I think the timing's off a little bit, but that's okay. This is Blotato Media URL that we'll be using. And then we will end up converting it to the Google Drive folder. So the video publications, we haven't actually published anything yet. That's what this table is for. So this is the download link for that file. And then at 3 p.m. every day, I'll have a scheduler node here. I'm just gonna run this right now to show you, but the scheduler node will run and retrieve the latest record if there is one in order to upload to all the platforms. So as you can see over here, we're gonna get this ready. Let's go ahead and run this manually. So I'm gonna run this. It's gonna go in here, it's gonna search. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run this. It's gonna search for the record. It got all the platforms available. So what it did, it split out. So as you can see, I wanted to go to Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, and TikTok. They're each, it's each gonna get the correct record to upload to them. And the first one is it's creating it. The TikTok agent just has like prompt specific for how TikTok, how we want to upload to that. So it's going to create uh, the caption and the hashtags, everything. So we went ahead and created the TikTok for that and created the record in Airtable. We're also going to do the same thing for LinkedIn. We'll do the same thing for YouTube and Instagram. And I can, here's just my TikTok. You can already see that it uploaded. Additional voice AI agents are absolutely amazing. Log into 11 Labs. I create here is a description and the, the hashtag that it used for me. Agent. So it's still running. Now it's going to go ahead and it's still running, uh, wanting to do it for YouTube short and then Instagram. So this can take a couple minutes to run like the full thing all the way through, but that's just because it's got to go through the agent specific for each platform. And the reason I really like this is because I don't really like logging in and having to worry about like what I'm going to be using, uh, like captioning for each platform platform i can just literally drop like once i have the real or the short form i can just drop it in that folder and then this is just gonna do it for me at the time that i wanted to right so if i wanted that specific time i don't have to come and manually do that it's just gonna do all of that for me which is really nice so the next thing is i want to show you how to set this up because there are a few things that you need in order to make this work properly so the first thing is that we need to create a Blotato account and I'll have a link for a percentage off that you can get if you use me as an affiliate. So once you sign up, then you create your account. At the bottom left, you're gonna to go to settings on the sidebar here and you'll come to this page and there are 
all nine platforms that you can sign up to. And as you can see, I've already connected to my YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, TikTok, and X, right? You can use any amount of these as you want. If you're using the Blotato node, you don't have to worry about copying the account ID, although you could use their straight API and create an HTTP request node if you really wanted to, but you don't have to. And the next thing that you need is an API key. So over here at, on the API part, you'll just click copy API key. And then you'll also need an API key for the actual Blotato node to create a credentials account. So you just come over to API, you can regenerate or just create a new one. So once you copy that API key or go back to any den, so for instance, here's my Blotato node, you can come in here, create your credential, and you're just gonna copy, you're just gonna copy in that API key. And I believe the server is already there, but if not, just copy this in there, click retry, and then you should be good to go. Okay, so for the Google Drive trigger, you do need to get a Google Drive uh, uh, credentials figured out, but they have documentation for that that I'll link for you. It, it only takes you a few minutes to get those. Those are a little bit different. You need a client ID in secret. But once you have that, then what I've done is I've just, you can use any, any way you want to, right? But I have a media not uploaded and a media uploaded. So as you can see, as it was done, 11 labs, it's now in the media uploaded because it is complete. And then as of right now, there are two Blotator nodes that you can use with the cloud server version of N810. If you use the local version, I believe that there are more updates in Blotato on the cloud, at least I think they have a local version that you can install with NPM. And then that allows you, I think they might have more updates, but here we have an upload media. And then we also have the create post. So if they upload media, this is gonna actually upload your reel to their server so that we can then create or publish to the respective platforms. So once you in here, all you're gonna need is there will be a JSON uh, web content link. When you're using Google Drive, there's a few different links, but just use that one. Then in Airtable, I created a table, which I will give to you. So this is the Airtable right here. This is for my, all my video uploads. And then over here on the right, you know, it had the, this is the transcription. Uh, this is it finally complete the video publications. Okay, so let me go over all the nodes so that you understand exactly how it's working and what you need to make this work. So over here in the, there's two nodes that we're gonna be using for uh, Blotato. So the first thing is we have Google Drive. Go ahead and create a Google Drive account or uh, credentials if you haven't already. This is just a trigger. And what I'm looking for specifically is this media not uploaded. So anytime I drop one there, it's gonna kick off, it's gonna kick off this, this section. And if you're wondering why I kind of have this, the sectioned off, right? It's because I really believe in separation of concerns. You should like this drive trigger is only responsible for creating, creating records in Airtable and uploading to Blotato. That's it. Because if something fails, I don't have to redo the whole pipeline again, right? If this fails here somewhere, okay, that's isolated, but that means that, you know, I can do something else in this 3 p.m. daily schedule that will go ahead and kick off the rest of it. Okay, so then we have air tables. So over here in the air table, what you'll see is this last record said that we successfully uploaded to these accounts. And then we have the video publications. So the last four here, TikTok, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram, these are, I think this is four, this is UTC. So it's actually four hours ahead. Right now I did a 10, 30 something, but I have the post submission IDs from Blotato. And then I have the posts. These are text posts. They were successful and they're all tied to the link, the record in from video uploads over here. So upload ID 40, these are all related to that 40. So if I need to ever come out here and get some, get these again, this is how I would know. So again, that's all this does. We have Google Drive, checking for a specific folder, uploading to Blotato. We're gonna check this in Airtable. We're gonna move that file in Google Drive to the media uploaded. So over here, we're gonna move it to add a specific ID because sometimes it's weird and it doesn't show up, like the folder won't show up, but it's moving the 11 labs MP3 that are MP4 that, that I uploaded to a different folder. Then we're gonna download that so we can transcribe it if it's under 25 megabytes. And then we're gonna update the Blotato media record with that transcript if we can. And then here for the daily schedule, this will be a scheduler trigger for 3 p.m. every day. It's going to search for the latest records. It's going to get all the platforms within a settings in the settings table. And then basically, if we have all the social media accounts that we want to actually upload to, if there's at least one that hasn't been uploaded, so if like Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok were uploaded, it checks that record. That means that Twitter or the other one hasn't been uploaded. Then we'll go ahead and just go and do that for that specific agent. And then we have the knowledge and post lane. This is where everything really happens. So we've kind of set everything up. Then we basically split out all the platforms up to four. Then each one is going to go to a specific agent. We're going to a TikTok agent, for instance, come here. They all they're all kind of different. The prompts are a little different. The TikTok, I mean, they're not they're not very in depth for just what I needed. But the LinkedIn agent the YouTube and the Instagram, they all have, they all have different prompts. 
because they do they, they're different things and then each one so if I open up this one, this is the post, uh, this post create node. So it's going to take the post. This is from the list. So once I come in here, right, I can choose because the platform, right, I'm going to choose the platform TikTok. And you can have more than one account per platform. So this is just mine. And then I'm going to take the text, the media URL. So I'm going to use the Blotato, Blotato media URL. So this is the one that we had originally uploaded to Blotato. So we're going to retrieve that and which is, you know, coming from Airtable and want to be public to everyone. You can, there's some other settings that you can do for each of them. Some of them also have like YouTube, you need a title, right? So the, the agent for YouTube has a title because on this post, you can see that we need a title. So if we were actually go to YouTube, this would be, this would be the title for my short. Okay. And then they all create a record. I was just, I just edited something there. That's why it's yellow, but they all create a record in Airtable when they're done. This is really helpful for saving time when I have to manage my content, right? I can just kind of set it and forget it. Once I create it, I can just upload it in there. It's going to do its thing. And then every day it's going to just upload the one, the latest video that I have there that, that has something that is available for me to actually upload to my social media accounts. Okay. This is really amazing. Blotato in itself is amazing. You can actually schedule and everything inside of their platform if you want, but if you want to automate it, which is us being builders and AI agent and automation builders, that's what we want to do, right? We want to use their API and do all these things. And again, you can access my insane AI agent builds inside of my free school community. You'll literally be able to download the template and then take a free course that I have in there to help implement these strategies in minutes. The links below, make sure you grab that. Thank you for watching. I have more videos right here. I'll see you next one.